give it to me! I can make bread! What's in your bread, mouth? bread, 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 bread! Oh boy, time? Time. Um, hello everyone. It's time for boys. Boys time. Time for boys? Mm-hmm. But boys aren't time, Sakyu. They are now. <gasps> <laughs> Anyways, last time, if you weren't here, then you don't have to worry about it, because that doesn't matter. But, but last time, but, 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 but the last time was pretty important, though. Yeah, but whether or not you missed it won't really affect your experience for this one, because they're, like, separate enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because last time we went, we went world hopping with the wizard, and it was Yee. super fun, and, and but now that doesn't matter, because yep. Cinderella. Yep, Cinderella time. <laughs> oh, we're, we're right into the thick of it. Cool. Yep. Um, <laughs> sorry to drag you out shopping for our one day off. Nah, it's fine. You need somebody to help you carry it all, right? Yeah, because you're definitely strong, <laughs> twig man. <laughs> that would be most helpful indeed. I'm thinking of restocking our household goods. And that reminds me. I think I'm running out of shampoo. I'm sorry. I've been trying to buy you more, but I can't find that brand anywhere. Oh, really? I thought it was pretty ubiquitous. Then again, they don't offer a lot of choice out here in the sticks. No, right. Oh no! And let's check the place where I bought it last. We'll call it a shopping date. Oh no! It's gonna be the whole story is gonna be Cinderella ship switches to store brand. <laughs> okay. But first. You want to hold hands, right? Gimme. <gasps> Sir, we are not even five minutes in yet, and we're already in hand-holding territory? Yep. Come on. Hand-holding. Yay! Yeah, you beat- you cheer. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is the place. This aromatherapy store is way too fancy for a rural town. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> this is the backdrop they choose for the aromatherapy shop. Yep. Excuse me, why is there a cage in the middle of your store? <laughs> <laughs> it smells good in here. I know, right? It's so relaxing. I didn't know you liked this sort of place. I guess it was more sensitive than I thought. And you're into this kind of stuff, right? Of course! Blech. You good? Yeah, I'm just- I think- I think it's just because I'm also drinking the protein shake at the time, so... Probably. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay. Of course! Much better. Yeah, knew it. The ladies usually are. By the way, what- because the powder's like sticking to my throat and stuff, so mm. just a little bit. Oh, here it is! Your shampoo! Oh. Huh? Oh, cool. You found it. Grab me a refill. Hmm. I think they might be out. Hi, Peachy. How's it going? When it comes to pricey kinds, they might not carry refills, I guess. And stay here and browse for a bit. I'll go ask the clerk. Alright, time for Cinderella to switch to store brand. <laughs> Okie okay, doke! Okay. What should I look at? Oh, this lotion looks cute! It smells good too. What about this one? Yep, I like it! And the price... $15?! I could afford it, but eh, it's a little pricey. Don't cave, don't cave. I need to be frugal about these things. 
Yeah, one of you has to be responsible with money. <laughs> you want to go shopping with them, Pichu? Well, you're in luck. You're part of the experience by being in chat. Come to think of it, how much does Cinderella shampoo cost anyway? $30 for the shampoo and another $30 for the conditioner? It's even more expensive than mine. Well, guys don't use as much since there's less hair to wash, and men should be encouraged to take care of their hair. Not to mention, he's always wearing that turban thing. I wonder if it makes his scalp sweaty. Mm, what's up? Thinking about something in the shampoo aisle? What? What was that? Good question. <laughs> anyway, I asked the clerk, and apparently they don't sell refills. Oh! What's that you're holding? No, oh, I remember I'm nearly out of hair gel too. Oh. How much is it? It's the same brand. It's probably just as expensive, but he needs it so he won't go bald. That's not what hair gel's for, but okay. Rory Q. Also, you can't you can't really stop male pattern baldness. Let's be real here. Mm, there's things you can do to like help or delay it and stuff like that, or like promote hair regrowth. Yeah. 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 Aren't you gonna buy something? No, we need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't carry my shampoo here. I'm gonna- I'm probably gonna pick it up at a different store since they're having a sale. What about one of those lotions? Oh, I was just smelling them. Which one do you like best? I think the White Lily has the best scent. Well, there's a tester bottle right there. I'll rub some on for you. Whoa! His hands make mine feel so small by comparison. Gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. Is it? I feel like we hold hands and stuff all the time. Yeah, but it's different this time. There, all lotioned up. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Mm. It smells good. We should buy it. Huh? That's not necessary. We don't have the budget for much more than your shampoo anyway. Okay, then. I'll start using a cheaper brand. Cinderella! You really don't have to sacrifice on my behalf. Girl, you're gonna go broke. I wasn't trying to. It's okay. I firmly believe in investing in our future. And we can't have you going bald. Huh? What? I mean, if going bald is in your genes, you're screwed either way. But if we start now, we can at least delay it for a while. Oh, but for the record, I don't mind if you go bald. I'm sure you'll still be handsome. But if you're worried about it... He's wearing a turban, he's fine. The bald is bald that. You make it sound like it's set in stone, damn it. Yeah, it's more up to Alistair's genes. <laughs> Aren't you worried about it? No, just look at this thick head of hair, would ya? I'll be fine. I mean, sure, for right now, but you never know. Don't look at me with those sad eyes. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine, right? 
You're gonna give me second guess myself. I'm afraid it's terminal. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no! I forgot Zenro is notoriously sensitive when it comes to these things! I'm just messing with you! Really? <laughs> I like the way your shampoo smells. We don't need to change it. Besides, you don't have much hair, so it'll last you a long time. <laughs> don't have much hair. Oh no! <laughs> Going back to the bald comment, let's go! I, I mean... God, no! Why did I have to phrase it like that? You know what? Uh, while we're here, I think I might buy some bath bombs. Well, which kind should I get? Okay, then. How about this one with Jasmine? Lang, Lang, and Clary Sage? For the princess and every woman, it says. Well, good that we found Cinderella's bath bomb. Now, what are we gonna get Riku? <laughs> Oh, nice pick! It smells good and it says it's extra moisturizing too! Can't wait to be nice and smooth all over! Smooth all over. My body! Not your head! <laughs> uh, come again soon! I feel kind of bad now. Do you realize my go-to shampoo was that expensive? <laughs> Sorry I made you feel bad. But 60 bucks, bro. <laughs> he ended up paying for everything, even my lotion. Where to next? Good question. Let me find my memo. Oh, yeah. I want to stop by the pharmacy real quick. Is that cool? Wait, what the? It's Cinderella? Cinderella? Ba, 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 ba. Thoughts. Oh, there you are! Is he back at the glasswork? He's looking at the tableware in a big crowd of women. Cinderella? Oh, oh. oh crap, hey. sorry. I saw glass and got distracted. Name, 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 name. Let's go. I know this bitch too well. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy it, I swear. I just want to look at it for research purposes. Oh, but if you wanted it, I would totally buy it for you. I know, I know. Oh, that mug is super cute. See? It's a cat, and the handle is its tail! I love when mugs are like that. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah. It's part of a matching pair. And when you put it by the other one, it makes a heart shape. Even better. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow! Gosh, looking at household goods is actually really fun! Damn right it is. The tails make a heart, yes! <laughs> I'm not gonna buy anything, but looking is free. It's a fun way to kill time without hurting your wallet. Yeah, you know, you gotta save up for your uh, 75 bucks worth of facial and hair, hair care products. Yes, I get it. I'm not accusing you of wasting money. Cute as they are, we already have enough mugs at home, so I guess we don't really need them. Yeah, I guess not. But they're cat shaped that make another shape. That is a me. <laughs> oh, he put it back. Yeah, because you told him to. <laughs> but he looks really sad. I mean, I would too if I had to put down a cat shaped mug that forms a heart shape with another one. Did you want to get it? Kind of, but just as a memento, you know. A memento of what? Cats in love, duh. Uh, no, uh, uh, going on a date, I guess. 
man, he really is a material girl, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go on dates all the time. Yeah, I know. But still. What? Sorry, I took a detour. Uh, my bad. Where do you want to go next? Since we're here, we should browse a bit. We both have a day off after all. Yeah, in that case, do you mind if I check out the interior design store? Sure. <laughs> His humming, cute. <laughs> he seems happy. Cinderella sure loves shopping, doesn't he? Yeah, we call that retail therapy, and he can go overboard with it pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I like going shopping with him. Feels like we're a married couple already. Oh, no, candles. Say, we can put these on the cafe tables. You see it all the time at fancy restaurants. No, it ruins the vibe of the cafe. It does seem super classy. But it doesn't, it has no place whatsoever in a cafe, trust me. Right? Oh, but I'm not saying I don't like the current furnishings. Yes, dear. We should buy one. What? Why? We're not open at night. Exactly. We don't want to put it out in the cafe. We could put it on our dining table. Okay, that's fine. If you're buying something for your dining table, that's fine. True. Fair enough, I guess. Not like candles are that expensive, anyway. <laughs> oh, it's not the candles that are expensive. It's the it's the cleaners that you pay to get the wax out of shit. Mm -hmm. Anywhere else you want to go? Are we running out of anything? Blah blah blah. <laughs> Somewhere I want to go. I can't think of any. Need clothes? Shoes? I'm good. You sure? You can always just browse. We, it says every person ever before they spend their entire wallet's worth. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. The sick town doesn't carry my brands anyway. Boo. Here's what they need to do. They need to get into making their own clothes. Yeah. Because then you just buy fabric, and fabric is much cheaper. Mm-hmm. He's a brand fashionista. Is he wearing the Gucci? He's well, obviously that's the Gucci bandana. You're right, you're right. That being said, I stopped whipping out my little black car to buy designer clothes. Got that? I haven't bought any lately. So they don't carry my brands. Also, I did not buy any designer clothes recently, so. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Mm, what about you, though? Any clothes you want? I'll tag along anywhere. Don't quit buying her shit. This is how you got into financial debt in the first place. <laughs> Not really. Oh, but... But what? We both have them. <laughs> hmm... I'm a sucker for flower paintings, and the lace is really cute. That doesn't say paintings. Oh. <laughs> Look at the backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Those aren't flower <laughs> paintings either. Yeah, but you know, like... <laughs> the background doesn't have to match what you're saying. Uh-huh. It's been proven time and time again. I'm a sucker for flatter patterns, and lace is really cute. I, I, was, I did think it was weird. It's like, what what painting would have lace on it? <laughs> <laughs> that was the thought going through my head. I did not <laughs> catch that I misread it entirely. <laughs> I really love ribbons, and these stripes are adorable, and the little polka dots... What kind of 
bra is your favorite Cinderella? Uh, oh, they're talking about bras. Let's go. That's why he was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Not my favorite <laughs> bra. The one you have on. Let's go. <laughs> they can't go wrong with the plain stuff, right? Like this one with a little ribbon. Oh, that's so cute! Okay, I'll get this one. Looks like it comes in blue, white, and pink. Any preference? Pink, 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 pink. Oh. Blue, I guess. Wow! Blue it is! Well, there you go. I'll buy it for you, so let's head to the... Oh, wait a sec! You're buying more? I mean, huh? I'll buy you as much as you want. <laughs> no, but I want to get measured just in case. Fair. It's fair. No, alright. It's important to buy the right size. Yeah. Might have been getting a little tight lately. It's just fabric. It's just fabric. <laughs> What was that? Nothing. <laughs> anyway, you get going. I'll wait outside for you. Sometimes it's more than just fabric, you know? Yeah. They got that clasp in the back, they got the metal wire that put it in shape. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okie doke. Uh, yeah. I'm really, really tired all of a sudden. Yeah, this is what putting up with a Cinderella is like. <laughs> Sorry to drag you all over the place. Nah, it's fine. I said I'd tag along, and I meant it. I'm glad you found some stuff you like. You didn't have to buy it for me, though. I mean, it's not even my birthday. Nah, it's fine. My treat. You're always working so hard. You deserve to be spoiled every now and then. Oh, Cinderella! You're so sweet! I love you! You better. Now then, next stop. Rumble, 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 zombie. Almost like your stomach. So it appears. That reminds me, there's a new Italian place serving honey gargonzola pizza. I hear it's a hot new trend lately. Eh? I don't know, man. What the heck is gargonzola? Gargonzola. Gargonzola. Ah, it's a type of blue cheese. Oh. I don't know, blue cheese seems like the weirdest to me. Fair enough. Cause, Cause it isn't just like moldy cheese, which cheese is already a mold anyway. I mean, you just said it yourself, cheese is a mold already anyway. Yeah, but it's like extra moldy or something like that. I don't know. No. It just seems weird that they put more mold on it. Pretty sure blue cheese is a, any of a wide range of cheeses made with the addition of cultures of edible molds which create blue green spots or veins through the cheese. Told you, they put more mold in it. Sure, it is edible mold, which is good. It's not more mold, it's just the specific type of molds that they use make it be blue or green. Or blue oh. green. Because that's how you make cheese in general by adding molds to it. <laughs> mold. Yeah. Edible mold. Yummy. So rem remember that next time you're eating cheese, everybody. It's just mold. It's tasty and mold. milk. True. Honey! Anyone who loves beauty products loves honey! Um, okay. I mean, there's the honey beauty products, that makes sense. Yeah, but... <laughs> Do you not like honey? I forget. Oh no, I love it! I just wasn't sure if you did. 
And if I didn't, I wouldn't have suggested it. Fair. The a honey pizza sounds great. Yeah. Especially like a hot honey. Oh, like a hot honey. Maybe some spicy mustard in there too. Get that sweet and spicy. Hmm. Good point. Okay, let's check it out. You're a big curd, spooky. <laughs> Ew, I'm stuffed. I knew honey goes so well with cheese. So I don't know. Any of that. But I feel bad that you paid for us. How big is your debt? Nah, it's fine. You're always cooking great food for us at home. So it's about time we repaid the favor. Okay, so we're just basically gonna repeat the problem of the main story where he's just gonna be a broke ass bitch. because he spends too much money on other people now instead of himself. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks! I should try to make that dish sometimes. I get a lot of female customers at the cafe. Besides, I think Gretel would like it. Well, it has honey ah, on it. True. So. Are you kidding? <laughs> Gretel would love it. I'm so happy we went there. I gotta try something new. But I still feel guilty. Cinderella's been paying for me all day today. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Now that we've eaten, let's get our shop on. No. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wash, hand soap. Oh, bathroom cleaner. We should buy some while, some more while it's still. While it's... Blah 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 blah. Let's see. Shampoo, body wash, hand soap. Oh, bathroom cleaner. We should buy some more while it's this cheap. Now we just need hand sanitizer, toilet paper, and. Okay, wait. We're buying too much. We gotta make sure we can still carry it all home on foot. Right, Cinderella? Cinderella, apparently, <laughs> currently pinned to the ground by shopping bags. <laughs> Wait, what the? He disappeared again. Cinderella? Cinderella? Hey, Reiki. They're having a sale on organic granola. Organic granola? He knows more about the latest trends than any girl I know. It's so cheap. The $10 package is 50% off, so it's only $5. I mean, it is pretty cheap. Yeah, but since it's organic, it's probably like a small package. True, it's probably like... Probably like half of a regular package. Yeah. Wow, no kidding! He holds up like a tiny airplane bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's still more expensive than the regular granola they have at other stores. See? Mm-hmm. And so I went ahead and bought some for us. Oh, so You bought it? Was I not supposed to? I could've got regular granola. I wouldn't say that, but I mean... Are you craving granola or something? I'm starting to crave granola now that they keep talking about it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure Cinderella has the same problem that most of us have. We see something on sale and assume it's a good deal. Yeah. So we buy it. No, not really. God. But sometimes I might want some, you know, so you can take a break from cooking. We'll save time. Look, there are things that you can do with granola. Mm hmm. Like eat like, it. Like, eat it raw. You can also uh, put it in yogurt. Mm hmm. It works really good as like a muffin topper. Sure. Maybe. 
Well, at least it's cheaper than full price. And it has a long shelf life, so it won't go to waste. Daro? See. Oh, he looks so happy. Girl, teach this man personal finance, please, <laughs> for the love of God. Does she know any personal finance herself, though? Well, she does have a bit of impulse buyer in her, but even she was just like, wow, this is still more expensive than regular shampoo, you know? Yeah. Like when you were talking about Cinderella shampoo. Mm -hmm. And she knew that the lotion that she wanted was a bit over expensive at 15. So she's at least conscious of like how much money she is spending. Yeah. But then Cinderella's kind of hand waving of like, oh, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. And so really Cinderella is kind of the enabler here right now. Yeah. And also Reiki just knows like, oh yeah, we could have got regular granola for like less than the, the less than the organic sale price. So I don't think that necessarily means she's got a personal finance, though. Yeah, but it's, she's at least like, hey, she at least knows where to cut the cost a little bit. She's a smart shopper, if nothing else. Yeah, she's a smart shopper where Cinderella's just like, I'm so used to just seeing something I want and buying it. Yeah. And he's falling into the trap of like, I see something on sale, therefore it's a good deal. Yeah. So like, he, she, need, she needs to be like, hey, Cinderella, you can't do that. And while it is nice that you're buying me all these things, it is not great for your wallet. <laughs> yeah. So where to next? I was thinking we should buy some groceries. They still haven't done the one thing they still have to do today. Okay. But he bought granola. Yeah, he bought granola. But all the groceries that they need. <laughs> okay then, to the grocery store. Can you imagine going to the grocery store with all like your designer lotions and hair care products and clothes and bras and shit and you're just like, okay, now we can go pick up groceries. Yeah, it's <laughs> on a little... foot. Hmm. Ah, here it is. Your advertising is sale on sugar. Let's go. Since there's no item limit, I should stock up. Especially since Gretel will go through most of it in the week. Yeah. Think you can carry all this for Cinderella? No problem. That's what I'm here for. Though so these bags are getting pretty heavy. <laughs> they might want to invest in a wagon. <laughs> also, depending on how much sugar she's buying, they come in bags, my dude. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get five more bags. Oh no. They really need a wagon. They need a wagon at this point. But we're already up 15 pounds. This should last us a while. I really hope they have a wagon. They don't. They have a Cinderella. <laughs> Red and I both use a lot, so the show will go through it lightning fast. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't think they're, like, underselling the... how much they go through. Yeah. Red will exist. Mm-hmm. However, <laughs> carrying capabilities. <laughs> yeah, carrying capabilities. You're you buying know. fucking bags of sugar. And then you expect you have to, to walk home. Yeah, you expect me to carry it all on foot. Yeah! <laughs> I agree with this expression so hard right now. <laughs> me too. <laughs> that reminds me, what do you want to have for dinner? I'll go all out and make something. But your options are limited. Between toast, and toast, and toast with butter. Butter toast sounds good right about now. It's really good. Hmm. Make me your specialty. Mm, my specialty. Oh, got it. I'll go buy the ingredients. <laughs> he comes back with a bag of bread. <laughs> toast. <laughs> Ak! He left without the shopping cart. Won't he need it? Oh well. I'll just grab the rest of the stuff on the shopping list. Toast with water. <laughs> Bought it. Already? So, what did you buy? Shrimp, mushrooms, extra virgin olive oil, artisanal garlic, chili flakes, parsley. Oh, and rock salt. I, I guess that sounds good. Yeah. 
got it. He's making one Spanish style garlic shrimp. I see. How much was it? I'll reimburse you. Nah, no need. I'll pay for it today. Stop acting crazy. <laughs> Again? We can run her spending money at this rate. Spain exists as this world confirms. No, Spanish style items exist in this world. We can't be Spanish style without a Spain. <laughs> well, it's also a looking glass world. We don't know what exists. That's fine. It's my money, and I'll spend it how I want. Said everybody terrible at finance ever. Yep. Sure about this. So, are you done shopping? Not yet. Okay then. Oh. What's up? We gotta buy some white wine too. Wine? Yeah. Let's see. It's gotta be a 19-year-old bottle. Bro, no, that's gonna be expensive. Just get some box wine, it's better. He sure likes his wine, I guess. Also, you're at a grocery store. What are they gonna. What grocery store is gonna carry 19 year old wine? I don't know, I never look. I don't know the first thing about alcohol, so I let him handle it. Ha! Here we go. How much is it? 150? Yeah, I was gonna say, it's gonna be over 100, at least. <laughs> Whoa! What was that about? 150 dollars? Well, yeah, it's a vintage wine. That's just how much they go for. Get a box wine, it's so much cheaper and it's so much better. <laughs> uh, hang on, I have to like, be real quick. Entertain like chat. 30 to 50 bucks, maybe. Okay, I'm a wine connoisseur. BRB. I'm not even a wine connoisseur, I'm just like, if you're gonna drink wine, just get the box wine. Is that normal? I feel like the wine you usually buy is like 20 bucks. 20 bucks box <laughs> wine, Ricky's, the girl, Ricky's got the brain on her. Mm, it's fine, I'm buying it with my own money. It's not fine! <laughs> Reiki, you should be yelling at this man. <laughs> okay. At least she's starting to get uncomfortable with ah, it. But like, damn. Yeah. That was a great shopping trip. He's got little suspenders. Mm hmm. They're blue. But he... Yeah, they're blue. It, it, yeah. I could have saved more money if I'd come by myself. Yeah. Absolutely. I only brought, bought the essentials, but Cinderella's been splurging left and right. But I have a lot of fun spending time with him, and he seems happy too. That's no excuse, and you know it. <laughs> no. Oh, well, that Cream Puffs Bakery new, isn't it? Mm, cream Puffs. They're so good. Well, Gretel would probably love it if I bought him some. I'll be right back. No, 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 not, not with your wallet, buddy. What? Huh? Didn't you have time to stop him? <laughs> Cinderella sure loves his brothers. I mean, not a minute, but he's always looking out for them. And that's part of why I love him. I'm sorry about that. All set. Welcome back. Here's yours. Did you get a baker's dozen or something? <laughs> Maybe. Huh? For me? And of course. Wow, thank you. Let me take a bite real quick. Mmm, oishi! This is delicious! Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. 
Did you get any for yourself? Nah, we already ate, remember? Now I look like a pig! Oh! What? Not gonna finish? You can have half! <laughs> no, I will! Totally! So much for being a private proper lady, but whatever. Worth it. It's so good! Nice. I bought a bunch, so you can have as many as you want. <laughs> this girl is about to pull a knife on this man, just like... <laughs> How many is... a bunch? No, just a dozen. Oh, just one shy... just one short of a baker's dozen. Got it. A, a dozen?! Well, technically only a paid for 10. It was a, a buy 10, get 2 free deal. What a steal, am I right? <laughs> Just because it's on sale does not mean it's a good deal. What's the matter? Cinderella. It's been so long since we went shopping together. I think I must have forgotten. How much you suck at being frugal. <laughs> the sound he made. <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. That's not true. I'm always reminding myself not to waste money. Uh huh, doubt, but go off. Okay then, can you tell me exactly how much you spent today? <laughs> He's choking. He's choking. He's choking. <laughs> That's a no, huh? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's more than one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I'm really not trying to attack you, but I feel bad when you spend what little money you have on me. It's fine, relax. The money I spent today is nothing. Besides, I cut corners elsewhere to make ends meet. Like, where? Look. No. He went quiet again. Look, does it matter? Yes. It's money, buddy. <laughs> Buddy. Hmm. What's something pricey that Sierra would drop from his budget to cover this? Let me guess. Your glass crafts. How did you know? Because I know you. I noticed you haven't been working on anything lately. I've been going without all this time. I'm not going without, okay? I use the leftover scraps I get from work. I just haven't been crafting as often as I used to. That's all. Cinderella! Come on. I'm already making life hard on you. You're so young still. I feel bad not spoiling my lady. There's plenty of time to spoil people, but in moderation. <laughs> How could I possibly turn around and spend money on crap for myself? Don't feel bad about it. You don't have to cut back on your hobbies just for me, Cinderella. Just keep track of what you're spending. All you have to do is cut back on food expenses and things like that. You know, like not buying one hundred fifty dollar wine when the thirty, when the twenty to thirty buck option is available. But then you'll be the one going without. I don't think you understand. I'm not cutting back on the things I love. Cooking at home is my hobby. I love making cost-efficient dishes. Thank you. Besides, we can always earn money back through our work. With all the good-looking men in our house, we'll find a way to monetize it somehow. 
I'll leave it to my future bride to find a solution. Hell yeah. Right. Now let's swing by the hardware store real quick on the way home. Are you sure? We're already so overloaded. Wouldn't you rather go straight home? Don't worry. I'm stronger than I look. Oh god, I love you. <laughs> oh, this one would be great. But so would this one. This is a weird looking hardware store. Yeah, all they, start, all they have is chairs and a lot of open floor space. Yeah. And should look into making a visual novel dating some type deal based on everyone that lives at the house and works at the cafe. What do you think this entire game is? No, no, Spooky might be on to something. Let him speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, the characters in the game. Yeah! <laughs> this is a visual novel dating sim type deal. I, I wonder if he's like dating sim slash like restaurant management sim. Or Maybe. Because like this is a visual novel dating sim. <laughs> <laughs> This is the most rickety I've seen them all day. The characters, no, the characters in, the in the game should make a game. I'm not sure how well that would work out. There's only one Alistair. There's only one brain. You got this right. Yeah. Okay. You should have been buying these things all along instead of trying to hold back. <laughs> My beloved is at his most lovable when he's doing what he loves. Our lifestyles may be far from frugal, but it sucks having to pinch pennies all the time. That being said, there sure are a lot of cost involved. Uh-huh, tell me about it, Reiki. Yeah, it's like hobbies are expensive. <laughs> it's like living is expensive in this economy. True! He went from living the high life to scraping by, and now I'm in charge of finding the finances. But maybe I should give him some more spending money. Or maybe you should make sure he doesn't spend crazy amounts on stupid shit. <laughs> maybe I need to offer him more wifely support, like sneaking a $10 bill into his wallet when he's not looking. Hey, Ricky, you should sneak a $10 bill into my wallet. I could benefit from $10. <laughs> This. <laughs> I think we all would. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah! Free extra ten bucks! <laughs> I'm gonna go buy me a card pack. <laughs> hey, Cinderella. I'm gonna go look at the furniture section real quick. Oh, look! We're already here! <laughs> this sounds good. A fresh start sale, huh? Reminds me when we were only looking at the tableware. Oh. Reminds me when we were looking at the tableware. This is the stuff I dream about. I can't wait to plan our living. I can't wait to plan our living space together, right down to the smallest details. But I kind of already bought a house, huh? By taking out a loan from my parents. Hopefully without interest, but... Yeah. <sighs> I wonder how much it'll cost to buy wedding rings and a wedding dress. Uh, more than your salary. Yep. But hey, we don't have to worry about that for a long time at least. Because we're all- because we're both going to be in financial debt forever! <laughs> Ricky, I'm finally done. Did you buy everything? I sure did. Yep, so I bought that half of the store, so we own this entire building at this point. <laughs> <laughs> then let's go home. What do you mean? If I buy the building, then I can just take off the stuff whenever I need it. <laughs> I mean... We're back. Anybody home? 
Didn't the brothers go off to live somewhere else at the end of Cinderella's story? Maybe they moved back? I don't know. Snow and Gretel must be in their rooms. I wish they greet us at the door. I like they have yeah, anything better pretty, to do. I'm pretty sure Snow went to go live with their mom. Mm -hmm. And Gretel and went to live in the middle of the woods. Yeah, just in the middle of the woods for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess they figured I guess they figured it was easier just to live here. Maybe. After all that. <laughs> they do help at the cafe, you know. They deserve to spend their free time off in their own little worlds. <laughs> yeah. See what they did there. I guess so. They got a pretty rough help I guess out. But we're having cream puffs for dessert tonight, so I'm sure they'll forgive us. Gretel will, at least. Oh, wait a minute. There's something on the table. Roses! They're so pretty! Oh, okay, so this is after the whole thing. Yeah, they sure are. So we found, we caught up to the point where we were on Wizard's Route with mm. this story, which is cool. What's going on here? Oh, there's a gnome! Snow White and I are going to spend the night at our friends' house tonight. Have a nice night. Sincerely, Gretel. They have a friend? Snow has friends? <laughs> well, Gretel. The Gretel doesn't have friends. Be real. Gre Gretel probably has, like, a friend. I'm not sure he does. But I'm more surprised Snow has a friend. You know Snow got at least one friend, but Gretel. <laughs> That's your issue here? Well, I mean, somebody probably likes him, right? No, well, so what I'm hearing is we got the house to ourselves tonight. Seems. For the first time in... No, the first time ever? I mean, there was the time they moved out, but Alice was still around. That's not how you spell his name. Just the two of us. Just the two of us! We can make no. it if we try! Hey. Yes? How can I help you? No. Oh. No. You're peppy tonight, huh? Crap. Being too eager and it's weirding him out. I guess we should start by putting the groceries away. Yeah. I'll handle the fridge stuff. Sounds good. Wait, they had stuff that goes in the fridge from the grocery store and then still went to the hardware store afterwards. Yep. Okay. Nope, yep. we go. Cinderella's so tall. You can reach all the high shelves with ease. It's the little details that strike me as so manly. He's slender, yet muscular. Now that we're alone together, I want to be real mushy and affectionate. I want to redeem those girlfriend privileges, dang it! There, I'll put away. Now we're just gonna bring in the clean clothes and clean the bathroom, and then it's time to make that shrimp. Sounds good! I gotta make the most of this opportunity. Cinderella! Well, what is it? Let's shower together! <laughs> Since it's just you and me tonight, I was thinking we could... You're on the way. Cinderella! Wow. I, I am? I gotta go grab the laundry, so run along somewhere. Shoo. <laughs> you just shoot me? Look, I can help. 
It'll go faster if we do it together. Nah, no need. He turned me down! You know how hard you work every day. You deserve to take a load off. But you work just as hard. Don't worry about me. Now, run along. It's gonna, it's gonna be a story about how relationships are equal parts. Mm -hmm. No! I can't believe he shooed me away. Well, I put all this stuff away and I've made the bed. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna jump onto Cinderella's bed. It smells like him, or at least that shampoo. I'm all alone tonight. No one to interrupt us. Usually Snow White and Gretel are around, so we can't do half the stuff we want to. But tonight, could take a bath together or sleep in the same bed. Hey, hey Reiki. Ah! What's the matter with you? I'm sorry for rolling around on your bed. Huh? Well, we did a lot of walking today, so I get it. What did you need? I brought in the clean laundry, and it needs to be put away. Here's yours. Wow! Thank you so much! They're so soft, and they smell so good! We had a great sunny weather today. Should have watched the comforter while I was at it. Yeah, for sure! <laughs> Which means he totally saw and touched them. The panties. <laughs> um, you touched these? No, you touched what? My undies. Me talk it Yeah. You did. He makes it sound like it's no big deal. It's just fabric, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. Get over yourself. Anyway, time to clean the bathroom. Wait, is that it? No other fur- No further comments? I mean, yeah, it's just fabric, but still! Yeah, it's just fabric. Cinderella! He's gone. Mm, I want attention. Me too, girly. I'm bored and lonely. He used to get embarrassed when he saw my undies. I guess a lot of time has passed since then, but we still haven't taken the next step. Yeah, you live with the man. Why are you more flustered about this stuff than a middle schooler would be? <laughs> she just wants the attention right now. But I shouldn't complain, or Karma's gonna bite me. I just know it. Cyril's out there doing chores, just to give me a break. Okay then, I should do something to make it up to him. But what? Oh, I know! I'll put money in his wallet! <laughs> he spent a lot today, so he needs it. Now then, where's that wallet? What the? It's not in his bag? Is it here? What about here? It's gotta be here, right? I can't find it! Nabe! Why? Where would he have put it? It didn't fall into the bed, did it? Oh, there's the alarm clock. I must have knocked it over. 
I better put it back. Wait, what's this magazine? Is it a porno mag? Oh, just a wedding magazine. Not sexy in the least. Here was trying to learn more about his, uh, interest. Alas. I remember when we first bought this magazine. We were so excited. We brainstormed ideas left and right. Cute. But at some point, we stopped reading it. I think it happened when we did the math and realized how much weddings cost. <laughs> you live with him, just ask him how this fetish is like an adult. I wish we would read it again. What are you doing? Cinderella, you gotta believe me. I wasn't doing anything. Oh, oh. Okay, sure. So, so, what did you need? Well, if you're that bored, I was thinking you could help me clean the bathroom, but, uh, you seem busy. Never mind. No, I want to help you. Let me help. Yeah, they're so... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there, squeaky clean. <laughs> it's so much easier to stop overthinking when I keep myself busy. Can't wait to use those bath bombs I bought at the aroma therapy store. I mean, Cinderella bought. <laughs> I wonder if Cinderella would take a bubble bath with me. Maybe not. Hey, Riku, it's ready. What is going on with you tonight? I'm falling down a log hole! <laughs> it's your fault for having such... such weirdly perfect timing! Did you finish cleaning the bathroom? Uh, dinner's ready. Be right there! Oh, it smells so good! Wow! And you even made antipasto salad! What is an antipasto salad? No idea. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, it's pasto. Not pasta. Antipasto. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. First course of a formal Italian meal, usually made of bite-sized small portions, is served on a platter from which everyone serves themselves. It's to stimulate the appetite, I see. Oh, okay, so it's like a light pasta to get ready for the meal. Got it. No, no pasta. <sighs> the first, like, recipe that comes up has salami, pepperoni, olives, cheese. Don't know how to pronounce oh, that. Oh, so it's so it's like a, a light salad then. Yeah, it's to stimulate the appetite. Probably for pasta later. Pasta, 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 pasta. <laughs> I was gonna say, pasta is an appetizer. Mm, no. <laughs> pasta is usually a main course for that reason, because yeah. it's just so heavy. And plus, some baguettes, too. I figured we should have more than just the shrimp. I think it's too oily. I want bread. 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 I can give you bread. Yes, give me bread. Where is bread? Here is bread. Give it to me! I can make bread! What's in your bread, mouth? Bread, 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 <laughs> bread. Beautiful. Yes. No way! I love olive oil! Oh, the candle! How romantic! I know, right? I should make garlic bread. Yeah. Have a seat, my princess. Oh my. My thank you. Shall I pour you some mineral water? 
Yes, please. Are you having wine? Mana? Yeah, a little. It's a treat. Yeah, you spent... I was gonna say, they spent 150 on it. They're gonna drink it. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like tonight's a special night. It is. Alright, we're all set. I'm gonna have a toast. It's gonna be something like three month anniversary or something like that. Maybe. And Reiki just completely forgot about it. <laughs> yeah! Here's to another great day together. And thanks for everything. Cheers. Cheers! Now let's dig in! How is it? It's so good. So good. Oh, that's great to hear. I was kind of nervous since I've never made it before. <laughs> it seems like your cooking skills are getting better and better. Oh Practice makes perfect, right? These days, he tries to cook something at least once a week. Cute. But because he's such a perfectionist, it always turns into something elaborate. Not cute. Expensive. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind, handsome, and a good cook. Sorry, ladies. This one's mine. Um, um, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Why am I stuffing my face? All this garlic is gonna make my breath stink. Who cares? Brush your teeth, damn. What's wrong? N nothing It's okay, he'll have garlic breath too, it'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. Ugh, you won't want to kiss me now. Oh, I know! Water! She's gonna go drain a reservoir. No, dummy. That's my white wine. Oh, she's gonna get fucking wasted. Let's go. Wow, this tastes like crap. What is this? <laughs> Give me that. This is your gla under glass. Light weight. Are you okay? You if you need to. I mean, you shouldn't chug wine, but still. Yeah. I'm okay. Just wasn't expecting that it tastes like shit. <laughs> Blech. So that's what alcohol tastes like. Yep. Sounds like you're not a fan. No, you just got some very shitty wine. Or alcohol is just not good. <laughs> Depends. Like, if it's like a, like a cider, then it's pretty okay, but that's because it's got like a lot of fruit in it. Yeah. Probably not. Here, drink more water. Phew, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. How are you feeling? Any dizziness? No, I'm fine. If I'm dizzy, it's because you're so sexy. Oh dear. Huh? What? Tipsy. Anyway, the shrimp sure is good. Oh. Uh, oh. Thanks. Oh. Let's go, tipsy, tipsy, tipsy. But if I eat all this garlic, you won't want to kiss me anymore. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> Are you okay? That, that was blunt. I wasn't expecting it, I guess. Let's go, Tipsy Tipsy Girl is gonna say everything that's been on our mind. Mm -hmm. Let's go. But we're dating. <laughs> 
Mm, look up. I'll cut up some apple slices for dessert. Mm, apples. Mm, put some sugar and honey on them. Yes. Let's go. All right. I mean, I read that the polyphenols in apples counteract the sulfur compounds in garlic. Yeah, that. Trust me. I thought about it, okay? In that case, can you spoon feed me with a pe with total peace of mind? Ah. Uh... I can avoid. Uh... Here comes the airplane. Mm, delicious. This is delicious. I'm glad to hear it. She's white girl wasted, let's go. <laughs> hey, Cinderella? Mm, what is it now? You're a total metrosexual. Wow, that's an outdated term. Yep. Huh. Wait, I'm, wait, did we talk about that last time this popped up too? I don't think it's ever popped up in the game before. Oh, I think I saw it on someone else's stream, which is why I know it's an outdated term. Ah. Uh. That's fair. It, it does make me curious as to what she said in Japanese, because like the only term that I can think of that is similar is in fact a slur. So <laughs> yeah, because I was like, that, that's why I was like, oh, that's a. That's like I don't know if you ever bothered playing any cage games in Japanese, but he voices Sam Flynn in Dream Drop Distance. I have not played Dream Drop in Japanese, but that sounds interesting. Uh. But but I do know that, like, the term is basically just male that it cares about his appearance. That's it. And people are just, like, people use that as a slur, especially in Japan. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways. Huh? Yeah. What? You're fashion conscious and sensitive. Even though we're broke, you spend money like water. <laughs> wow, she's just letting all the tea flow. Damn. I beg your pardon. But you're also meticulous, dedicated, considerate, romantic, and handsome with a sexy voice. You're truly one of a kind. He found a truth serum for her. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, I made up my mind. Okay. I want you as my wife! Male wife, let's go! <laughs> let's go, male wife! <laughs> nah. Very cute. Most Are you drunk? You'll nah, she's not drunk. She's a white girl wasted. No! Of course not! I'm dead and seriously trying to hit on you! I, Riku Arasu, vow to be your prince. Take my hand, princess! I get your damn princess. You're drunk as a skunk. <laughs> I like that he took the time to rhyme. <laughs> Not drunk as a skunk is a common phrase. I see him. I am not. Enough. If you don't puke here and now, I'll use my own two fingers and make you. <laughs> That doesn't take it out of her blood, Cinderella. Yeah, it's already absorbed in her blood. You'll just prevent. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, I will. White girl is still. Let's go. Use your fingers to make me what, big boy? No, Puke, you drunkard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo. That's no fun. I don't care if it's fun. I'm on your feet. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. You barely had a single glass and you're wobbling all over the place. How do you get this drunk this fast? White girl wasted. It's Cinderella! Catch me! Hey, get off me! You're making it hard to walk. Cinderella! We finally have 
have a night to ourselves, and you don't want to do anything. Well, you're drunk, so you can't consent anymore. So... Yeah. So I want. I mean... I want to take a bath together, or sleep in the same bed. I want to go mushy and lovey-dovey. Don't you want to be lovey-dovey with your girlfriend? Well, of course I do, but... Okay, tell you what. I'll kiss you later tonight. You liar! Where did that come from? When I asked you had to... When I asked you to guess what I wanted us to do now that, now that we're an item, you said, Have sex. So why haven't we... Hey, keep your voice down if we're gonna talk about this crap. It's not crap, it's important. We're engaged, but we haven't even. All because your stupid brothers are here constantly, so we can't do anything. And you don't want to live with them? It's not that. Gretel and Snow White are really nice, and they give me advice sometimes. The cafe wouldn't survive a day without them. I love them so much, but this has nothing to do with it. Why do you reject my advances? You don't react when you see my underwear. No, it's just fabric. It is just fabric, thank you! You're such a jerk! Am I ugly? Oh no, she's sad drunk. Of course not. You're plenty attractive. Then look at my legs! Don't hike up your skirt, you weirdo! <laughs> oh, don't worry, I got tights on under here. That's not my point. <laughs> I'm sexy, and I know it. Yeah, I know you know. She's gonna be so... on over tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Ever since I found out about your leg fetish, I've been massaging them every night after my shower. It's a lot of work. My feet tend to swell up after I spent all day standing on them. Well, good thing he's a leg guy, not a feet guy. <laughs> But I don't want you to lose interest in me because I have cankles. So how would you rate my legs? Ah, oh, they're great. So, yeah. No, they're not. Huh? Why? After all that walking today, they're so they're swollen again. Who the fuck cares? You never love me at this rate. Hey now, don't cry. I'm not gonna lose interest over some puffy ankles. How about this? I'll massage him myself. At this rate, we'll never get married. M married? Yeah, cuz I mean... We're engaged, but we haven't set a date for a wedding. Mainly because you guys can't realize that you can just do a small wedding. With all the big fancy shit. I was thinking I'd have to wait until I pay back my loan, but I have no clue when that will be. In the meantime, you won't touch me. Am I gonna grow old and die waiting? I don't care about money. I just want to get married. I want to get married? No! Wow! <laughs> Rake you. Crying noises. I don't care about wedding rings or a wedding dress. Why do we have to have a ceremony? See? That's what I've been saying. I don't care for drowning in debt. I don't need a new house or new furniture. You can live with your brothers forever for all I care. I just want to get married to you, Cinderella. 
sob. Riku. Huh? Cinderella? I'm sorry, Riku. You've had to go without for a long time because of me. <laughs> That's not true. The girl would kill to have her dream wedding. Of course you want a wedding ring. And a pretty white dress. And a fancy ceremony. No, I don't- She literally just said this, boy. Listen. It's okay to be honest. <laughs> to, to be honest? Yeah. This wine sucks! <laughs> I do want to wear a wedding dress. Yeah, I know. It'll be the most beautiful thing you'll ever wear. And I can't wait to see it. You're wearing a Balani socks. And so does living with the in laws. True. Everyone wants to live in a brand new house with brand new furniture. I'd be fine with just a house, honestly. Me too. I don't care if it's a, Yeah, like just a place to live. It doesn't even honestly. have to be furnished in my case. I'll just take a house. Thanks. <laughs> I'll just take a house. I'll grab my bed. I'll be fine. <laughs> and then I'll slowly get stuff from thrift stores to furnish it. Yep. I'm sorry. I can't give you that. <laughs> don't be. And they're there. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm so selfish. And you're not being selfish. You're a hard worker. And you're only 19. Oh yeah, she's still baby. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to have dreams for the future. In many ways, you're still just a kid. You can't even drink yet. Haha, <laughs> joke's on you. Of course you can, just not legally. But I'm old enough to get married. And that's true. Ideally with your parents' blessing. But yeah, you can get married. You do have my parents' blessing. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to be irresponsible. Yeah, you're both drowning in debt. <laughs> I love you. I want to do right by you. So stop spending so much goddamn money, <laughs> fucker. And I totally get it if you have some unspoken complaints about that. Well, I'm asking for more intimacy. Can't you give it to me? Now look here. We may be dating, but I don't want to rush these things. And you're drunk, so we're not going to have sex, but if you want to be in the tub together... <laughs> and besides, it would be a jerk move if I took advantage of you while you're drunk. Exactly. See? Cindy gets it. Mm -hmm. You're just a coward! No, you can't consent. <laughs> yeah, you literally... you. Legally cannot consent right now. Yep, I'm a coward. You know me well. I love that he's just not take her, like, taking that part seriously. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's just her lashing out because she's not getting what she wants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, don't get me wrong. It's not easy for me to abstain. Don't say that, don't say that. <laughs> Obviously, I want to be independent of the lady I love. You mean it? I mean it. Fuck, you said it. Kiss. Kiss you? <gasps> See? Mm, you taste like olive oil. <laughs> Sorry. Should have made the food less greasy. 
Hora Akiomon. I'll carry you to bed. Right with style. So you're gonna hit her head on everything going up those stairs. Got it. To bed? Cinderella, carry me. Not on sight. Got it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Pukes right on the floor. <laughs> I, I, it's just so funny that we come to this picture. Yeah. And that sentence right after that. It's like, <laughs> how did she come to this conclusion? <laughs> now I'll never get married. No, don't be silly. All you did was puke a little. <laughs> but you had to clean it up, and now I'm resting on your lap. He's got cowboy boots? Yeah, looks like it. Everybody needs a little help now and then. You didn't need to get drunk tonight. It's fine, alright. I'm not gonna lose interest or stop loving you. You mean it? Yeah, I mean it. I puked in front of you the first day we met, remember? Oh yeah, he was fucking wasted. Of course I remember. It was so memorable I couldn't possibly forget. The smells. Right, I know I sure won't. Honestly, I should have turned you off completely. If not all the other crap I said and did, but you fell for me anyway. As long as you still love me, you'll always be my wifey. <laughs> Wifey. Oh my god, wifey! <laughs> okay. <laughs> there, there. Just rest on my lap for a while. I want to take a shower. Fair. Don't. The alcohol's not fully out of your system yet. I can't risk you passing out in there. Well, obviously, take the shower with her, Cinderella. Duh! Like, obviously, that's where that's what you have to do. <laughs> Spooky. But. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll supervise you while you're in there, but I'll have to wait. Just a little bit of puke. It's fine. Okay. Anyway. Seems like I finally learned your greatest weakness. Eh. Alcohol. For some people, drinking changes their personality. In your case, you turn into a needy baby. <laughs> no, she is, no, that's the that's the funny part. She was already a needy baby. <laughs> yeah. Don't embarrass me! I'm not. I like it. At least this way, you finally opened up to me about how you really feel. True, she just needs to be honest with him a bit more, especially about his spending habits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I... I'm sorry. <laughs> For what? For this? <laughs> For being selfish and making you feel bad. Maybe you should have thought about that more before you called him a slur earlier, freak you. <laughs> <laughs> what part of that was selfish? <laughs> Wanting to marry me? Yeah. Wanting more intimacy? <laughs> Gotta hold and die. Don't. Come on. 
No, and if living with my brothers gets to be too much, I can't ask him to leave. Hell yeah, kick him out! <laughs> no, I don't want your brothers to leave! I just want to make the most of the one chance we have to be alone together. Hotels exist, Riku. Yeah. And there's and there's Just some hotels that are like specifically that. made for what you want to do. Exactly. Close your eyes real quick, Greek you. Huh? Just do it. Uh, okay. What's he doing? Holding my hand? Putting something on my finger. <gasps> Gasp. That's why he was going all out tonight. Mm-hmm. Wait. Okay, you can open them. Cinderella, is this what I think it is? Well, look. The truth be told, I want you to wait for a more romantic moment to give it to you. <laughs> then you started chugging wine. <laughs> <laughs> the mother made that I had not given you an engagement ring. So here it is. Okay. That explains why he's like, I'll pay for it, I'll pay for it, and getting, mm -hmm. like, the expensive wine and shit. Yeah. Okay. At first, I thought he was just being like, oh, I, we, I thought I was just seeing regular Cinderella, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, an engagement ring! So Yep. Sorry it took so long. It, uh, that, he probably asked them to be out that night to just like, hey, make yourselves busy to this night because yeah. I'm going to propose. Because Gretel doesn't oh have God. friends. <laughs> Gretel is currently staked out in a pastry shop somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the night while they're closed. Maybe. How? Where did you get the money for something this expensive? Two loans, baby. <laughs> I made it. But I cashed in a few favors here and there, so I can't claim I made it entirely on my own. Aw, oh, that's even cuter, actually. Yeah. Sorry, it's not a real diamond. Just glass. Oh, who the fuck cares, man? Diamonds are a scam anyway. Yeah. I don't care about that. I really, really love it. The only problem I have with it being glass is it's gonna scratch easily. That's the only problem I see with it. I feel like there might have been some way to protect it. I don't yeah. Know, I guess if it's just the engagement ring and not the wedding ring, mm -hmm. then it's fine. Really? I'm glad to hear it. It's so pretty. Next year, I'm gonna wedding ring. I can't wait! Wait, next year? I'm turning 20 next year, right? <gasps> Once you're old enough to drink, we'll get married. Hell yeah! On her birthday? Hell yeah! That way you can celebrate the birthday and the anniversary in one shot, let's go! <laughs> and you are. And what do you say? Okay! Thanks. We've got our work cut out for us. Reserving a venue and sending invitations and all that. This might be shorter than we think it's gonna be. <laughs> we'll have a traditional June wedding. How to church. That's cute. Aw, oh, that is cute. But of course, I don't have the money yet, so we need to keep pinching pennies. Yeah, like you did today, but that's fine. Today is a special exception. Yeah. Plus, it also explains why he was cutting like his last work, which is like I need to save money to make this night special. Yeah. And plus, before we decide anything, I want to sit down with your parents and talk it out. We could buy more charts. <laughs> we can buy more wedding magazines and read them together instead of just talking about our dreams. We'll plan to make them come true. Let's fucking go. What's wrong? Did you take me to a bunch of girly doors on purpose? Just for me? 
Oh. Yeah, so I did. Down. Normally we can only go on cheap updates, so I wanted to spoil you for once. Oh. Gently smooshes them together. <laughs> Is that why Snow White and Greta were both conveniently absent tonight? Thank you for catching up with us, Rikyu. <laughs> I asked him to give us some private time. I told him I wanted to formally propose. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, at the end of that last image, like, Gretel's like, So you guys are gonna bang? <laughs> Aww. Hey, don't cry. But I'm drunk! <laughs> I can't help it! You were thinking of me of the whole time! You're so sweet! I'm dumb right I was. You're my one and only wifey. Oh, Cinderella! I love you so much! I'm there, there. These after stories might be faster than we think that they are. <laughs> Maybe. We've got a lot to look forward to once you turn 20. Like what? Consensual sex. <clears throat> like, uh. Taking showers together? <laughs> perv. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a pervert. Hear, hear me out, he's a pervert, but for one girl, and they're engaged. Yep. For lifetime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty sweet deal. <laughs> what else? Uh, you can vote. <laughs> <laughs> I can already vote. They can get an alcohol server permit? Right, that's not the point. Sorry. <laughs> He's like, uh, you could actually start serving alcohol in the cafe? <laughs> <laughs> Even at 20, there's still a lot I won't be able to do. Like rent a car. True. As long as I can do the things I want to, that's all that matters. Yes, yes. There, there. That's the spirit. Alright. Well, you promised me one thing. Uh. <laughs> What's that? And after we get married, will you promise not to hide how you feel from me? No, that should be a right now thing. <laughs> yeah. When I mean, you want to buy something, tell me. When I mean, you want to do something, tell me. No, you need to start that right now, buddy. If something bad happens, tell me. No more bottling it up and pretending to be okay. That's how relationships work, baby. Open, honest. Mm -hmm. Let's go. It sucks that you can't be honest with me when you're sober. Well, we're gonna need a ton more alcohol then. <laughs> well. Okay. <laughs> What's that sleep? We can share a drink together too. <gasps> An alcoholic drink, you mean? No, you have to be of drinking age in order for the, you to drink just some water together. Come on, Rikyo. <laughs> did you notice? I bought a bottle of wine from the year you were born. Uh, I did. I did think about that when he said 19. It's like, hmm, that's about as old as Reiki. I, I was just like, man, that's kind of old for a wine at grocery store. <laughs> 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 I bought it the same day I proposed to you. And what's your off age? I'll crack it open. Okay, so he's gonna be holding on to that one. So he was drinking some other wine tonight. Yeah, he was drinking the store wine. Mm hmm. And then he also bought a vintage from the year that she was born. That's cute, okay? Don't worry. If you get drunk, I'll take care of you. Oh, thanks, but I don't get drunk too often. Oh, right, right, right. I'll 
look forward to it. Well, but you're not allowed to drink with anyone but me. No one else deserves to see you at your most vulnerable. Okay. Good girl. So, you want to take that shower now? Yes, please. Good. I'll help you get there. No, you're coming in. Hey, Cinderella? Hmm. What's up? Can, can I make just one more selfish request? Sure. Bad ball. Oh. Will you kiss me? Sure thing. Close your eyes again. Okay. Oh dear. Huh? Fire alarm? What? What the? My alarm clock? Sorry, Drake. I gotta go turn it off real quick. One sec. Oh, did she? Did she reset the alarm when she dropped it? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Way to ruin the perfect moment. Stupid clock striking 12. Midnight, baby. Let's go. Who the hell set the alarm anyway? This have been my brothers pranking me again. Sorry about the Riku. No. Where were we? She's passed out on the ground. Puking. Yep. <laughs> oh no, she's just passed out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the snoring sounds you make for Riku always take me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they wanted to have snoring sounds for the MC, they should have gave her a voice. True. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Cinderella. Reiki, Ruth to Reiki. <laughs> Stop that! It tickles. <laughs> she sounds like a lie. Getting drunk will do that to you, I guess. I'm good grief, you're a mess. His crit's all flipped up and everything. Yeah, she is a mess. <sighs> I don't know how I managed to resist you. One more year. One more year. One more year. <laughs> That's how. <laughs> I don't know my brothers are around, which keeps me in check. But when we're all alone and you're coming on to me, it's obviously gonna work on me. You got that, right? <laughs> of course you don't. <sighs> Just gonna wait one more year. Let me borrow your hand. Yep, the ring's a perfect fit. It suits you too, it's you. Things got pretty wild today, but I couldn't have asked for more. I'll always remember today. Years and years from now. I hope you'll remember it too. Thank you for agreeing to be my wife. I promise. I'll treat you right. Kiss. <laughs> the Cinderella. I still mm. love you. Very cute.
ただいま帰りました。I'm home! ただいま。何歳ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。マイヤー、You're worried sick. プロポーズに失敗したら、well, if she dumps him, here comes our chance at getting her money. てなんでこの人たち、What the? ここ寝てるんですか Why are they sleeping here in the living room? God damn it, Cinderella, you couldn't have carried her up to a bed? <laughs> Beats me. No. It looks like everything went off without a hitch. Ah, indeed. They both look peaceful. Honestly, they make the perfect couple. Agreed. I wish them all the happiness in the world. <laughs> Rick, you. you look so pretty in your wedding dress. Ah, literally dream wedding. Let's go. <laughs> you make me so happy, Cinderella. Cute. And our story goes on. Unless they're gonna make us go through an entire year's worth of content. <laughs> oh. It's no Gretel. I need to talk to you. Oh, what is? You want us to move out so you can live happily ever after with Arasu? No, that's not it. I mean, maybe sometime in the future, but... But not now. <laughs> anyway, that's a subject for another day. I just finished making an engagement ring. So, I want to take a moment to officially propose to Reiki, but... You're always here. <laughs> you need us to make ourselves scarce. We need some private time for just one day. Please. Fine, fine. Whatever you say. Don't see how you could say no, really. You're gonna do it on your day off, right? I'll spend the night at a friend's house. I think I'll go visit Mother. Or maybe Huntsman. Thank you. Both of you. I have no idea you guys had actual friends. Especially you, Gretel. <laughs> I'm gonna deck you. No violence inside the house. Good grief. Anyway, I thought you already proposed to forever ago. Back at the royal ball she held here at the cafe. Alright. Back when Cinderella ran away, so she had to go get him back. <laughs> Well, I was broke back then, and it was spontaneous, so I didn't have a rank ready. Just have her pay for the ring if she's so rich. God damn it, Gretel. <laughs> what kind of man would do that? At this point, why worry about that? She's already taken over your debts for you. Damn. <laughs> Actually, I'm amazed someone as broke as you managed to get a ring at all. Well, he had to make it himself. But greed! Well, it's handmade, and I used glass in place of a diamond. Ah, it's cheap. Looks like this. What do you think? Oh, I see! A unique, one-of-a-kind ring! Smart! I like it. It's gorgeous. Right? It's pretty well made if I do say so myself. <laughs> Great job, Debbie Dutter!
I think he legit hurt his feelings. <laughs> wow! How annoying! So when's the wedding? And sometime after Ricky turns 20, I think. So, you got less than a year to go. That's pretty soon. In a perfect world, we do it after we pay the debt in full. But it's gonna take decades for that. Man, he had this all planned out from the get-go, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Like Rikyu. She'd wait as long as I needed her to, but she wouldn't be happy about it. She never complained, of course, but she already has to go without her favorite things every day. If we're gonna be spending decades or paying the debt either way, I want to show that I'm committed for the long call. Let's go! You put a lot of thought into this. I'm actually impressed. Yeah. I can tell you've been paying attention. Damn straight he has, damn. Oh, and one other thing. There's more. What sort of stuff does Riku like? <sighs> I beg your pardon? I mean, if I'm gonna propose, I wanna make the whole day special. Obviously, the ring will be a surprise at the end. In the meantime, I wanna take her places, buy her nice things, and show her a good time. Wouldn't you know that? Well, what's your plan? Go to the aromatherapy store or some other supply store. Figure out what she wants and buy it for her. Matching mugs, maybe? Oh, they didn't get the matching mugs, though. Oh, that would have been so good, though, since the cats make a little heart shape. Aww. Oh, they didn't get the mat. They didn't get the mugs! It was part of the plan, though! <laughs> She's not the type who likes a lot of physical gifts. Yeah. You don't know that. She's young. There's gotta be lots of stuff she wishes she had. Well, if you don't know what she wants, there's no way either of us would know. Then just tell me what you think she'd like. Any ideas? Sweets! <laughs> Cream puffs! That's what you like. <laughs> yeah, but you did end up buying cream puffs, so like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girls like them too, genius! Uh, how about honey gorgonzola pizza? Oh, that's where that came from. Honey pizza? I mean, honey pizza is The latest trend! They put honey on gorgonzola pizza, I guess. Honey on cheese? And it's good? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> of course it's good, you halfway. It's honey. Honey. Sweet, delicious, and with added cosmetic benefits. Oh, well, I'll trust your judgment. Eh, the honey being good for cosmetics is uh, still up in the air, but yeah. Any ideas, Snow? Now that I think of it. Mother mentions she's obsessed with garlic shrimp lately. And garlic shrimp. Well, that lady knows her stuff when it comes to all things girly. It's like she's a woman or something, I don't know. Yeah, no, weird, right? Honey, gargonzola, and garlic shrimp. Sounds like a lot of grease in one day. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay then. How about some granola? I see. Oh my god. <laughs> granola. granola. I know that stuff is popular, but isn't it a breakfast thing? No, that's like pretty much anything. Yeah. Thing. Anytime thing. It's also a healthy snack. Hmm. Look, if you don't like my ideas, then think of your own. Ballot. Fair. Right, sorry. 
Yeah, All right, boys. I'm going to take her to the aromatherapy store, the department store, a nice Italian restaurant, and they cook some garlic shrimp for dinner. Sounds like the girliest date ever, though. Good thing is going on a date with a girl, Gretel. Yeah, fucker. Does it matter? She is a girl. And he's a... No, Snow, you can't be calling him a slur. Quit using this word, please. It's... It's basically in place of a slur. True. So, what should we do, Gretel? While we're at it, might as well buy them some flowers. Good call. It'll be our little surprise. I can't wait. Our story goes on. I was gonna say, there's no way they're making us see the wedding. No. That's a lot of content just to fit into this small little side story. It'll be for the fan fiction. Yeah, leave it for the fan fiction. Just like how uh, Rune Factory 4, uh, Ventus Will is not dateable, but they put it as fan fiction for the DLC that you, that the MC marries her. Cute. Yeah, I know, it's super cute. And I'm just like, yeah! Because <laughs> it's, it's not even like playable DLC, it's like just story DLC, but it's still very cute. I see. But wow, we finished up in like, what, two hours? Two hours thirty? Yeah, which is about as long as it took for the wizard, so I'm not surprised. Oh, wizard took that amount of time too? I mm -hmm. guess more I guess more just happened in the wizard story, because they had so much ground to cover in such short amount of time. Yeah. Because you got to see almost everyone in wizards, but... Mm -hmm. Almost everyone. Yeah. Side-adding Gretel, stay in your own world. No, we saw Gretel. We didn't... Who didn't we see him? We didn't see Gretel's world. We saw Gretel's from other worlds. We didn't see Gretel. We saw a saw... Gretel. But... We saw a Gretel from Cinderella's world. Exactly. That's what I was getting at. We still saw him at all. Well, I mean, yes, we still saw him, but like Wizard's whole thing is that he was bouncing between worlds. Yeah. I, I guess I guess we also didn't see Kaku. No, we did see Kaku. Yeah, we world. did. He was very briefly there. Yeah. It's like. Cinderella is the only one that we didn't see in Wizard, actually. Even though mm -hmm. he went to Wizard's World. Oh, Kaguya is going to be fun, because we get to see that scene where... Uh, oh, we... Oh, that begs the question, will we see the scene from the other side where Reiki is talking to another version of herself as Alistair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that we think about it. Oh my, that is interesting. <laughs> That will be interesting. It's just like, huh, Alistair's acting, or Alice is acting super weird today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. Exciting things. Even better if they, if she just like finds Alice later. It's like, oh yeah, were you at the cafe? Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Do I look like I'd be stuck in a cafe? <laughs> I ordered coffee. Why would I do that? Coffee is so bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Anyway. Yes. Cindy's are out. Love it. Yeah, it was good. It, it's such like the traditional like uh sto story plotline that you would find with these types of games. Mm -hmm. But they do it so well here. And it's like it's hard to mess up this type of story. True. So like but like I still I still like Cindy's are out the best, honestly. <laughs> That's fair. I feel like it shows off a lot of the other characters, like, good points, too. Like, Gretel, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah, Gretel's not a complete sociopath yet. Yeah. <laughs> he's normal. He gets there. He, he's normal-ish. He's, he's like, bratty little brother, which is, yeah. you know, perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Next up is Reds, right? Yep. If we're doing them in, like, game order? Yeah. Hell yeah. Red should be a fun time. Red, we're going to see a lot of wolves, so I'm excited for that. We might see wolf. I guarantee you. Are you kidding? Those two are like peas in a pod. We'll have to you, see. You saw how they were in Alice's route. I mean, yeah, but we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. They're two immature boys hanging out together. Yeah, I know. 
both fawning over the girl that sometimes acts inappropriate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just remember Wizard carried right upstairs. Yeah. So, that's gonna be a fun scene. Yeah. <laughs> Now uh, we're... yeah, there's not really much to talk about, because, like, the, the stories are nice, but, like... Yeah, they're wrapping themselves most... up, so, like... Yeah, they're wrapping themselves up. There's nothing to talk about, really. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's funny that we were like, bro, you need to save some money, and then we were like, oh, wait, it's the... It's... He's proposing, never mind, go all out, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Special occasion, baby. Special occasion, baby. Still, you got $150 wine, and it wasn't even good. No, he didn't open it. Oh, yeah, right. He got some other wine that tasted terrible. <laughs> Might have been cheap wine that they already had at their place. The cheap wine can taste good. Can. Doesn't mean it does. All the time. True. But I'm um, now what is a good question. But now what is indeed a good question. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I agree. Uh, take what you can from Cinderella's route. It's a good story about uh, managing expectations in a relationship. Yeah. Something like that. Like, yeah. Being open and honest communication with each other. Mm hmm. Because, like, they want, like, the extravagant lifestyle, but they also understand that they can't have that type of lifestyle because of where they are financially. Yeah. So they come to a compromise, but it's still, but it's a compromise that where they're not really sacrificing too much from each other's side, mm -hmm. and they still get what they want in the end. It's more like a commitment to the future rather than saying, oh, we can't do this right now, but if we save up for it, then we can. Yeah. Which is good. Mm-hmm. Also, if you're in for the long haul, talk about your future plans, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important to not only know where you're at, but also where you're going. Mm -hmm. Especially in relationships. Yeah. That's about it. That's all I got. That's valid. Okay. Uh, did you stop recording for YouTube? Uh, not yet. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>